take an issue highlighted by the COVID-19 pandemic, how companies treat their employees. At the height of the pandemic, factories such as this polymer manufacturer in Karachi were faced with a simple choice, keep their employees safe or shut down. COVID was a new phenomenon to make people come out of their homes and work at a plant site where there are multiple people. They were confused whether they will be affected or not and what kind of measures we are taking as employers. Fearing a loss in production, the factory turned to technology to create a safe working environment, using AI to track whether employees are complying with COVID rules. The tech is designed by British company Empiricai. Using CCTV feeds, it calculates whether workers are socially distancing and wearing face masks correctly. This red line is showing the violation of social distancing is at this location. Vast number of observations are higher in the INE technician's office. Hmm. So we will report it to the building owner and see what measures we can take to reduce these. Had we not had this software, we would not have operated our plant with so much comfort and with sustainable runs. When we showed people analytics, reassured them that they are complying with the requirements and there is no exposure to them from their co-workers. The pandemic brought out the importance of employee welfare from day one. From a health point of view, immediately, it was absolutely vital for companies to look after their employees, not just for the employee's benefit per se, but the reputational risks of having an explosion of COVID in your factory was huge. But the use of this tech is not always benevolent. Some companies have been overzealous in tracking the movements and behaviour of remote workers and employees. Sometimes these days, it's almost as if companies know more about their employees than the employees' families do. Not just when they clock in and when they clock out, but when they go to the bathroom. It can be very dispiriting for employees. Certainly, there are concerns about privacy aspects of this too. A recent survey of British employees found that almost three quarters of those surveyed felt that workplace surveillance would damage trust and unhappy workers are bad for business. It's really important to have happy workers in order to have workers who are prepared to chip in their thoughts and their ideas, and, and that's really what business is all about. 